Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the secret features that are actually quite a large part of the FPS++ graphics pack and that not quite a lot of people know about. Now I know a lot of people will not be interested in infinite health, infinite arrows and infinite stamina, but if you are, stick around and I'm going to show you how you can enable them in game. Okay, before I start waffling on too much about things you don't care about, let's jump across to my desktop and get this video started. Okay, to turn these features on, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is open your CMU folder, come to your graphics packs, and come to the latest version of FPS++. So first of all, we want to come to the patches.txt, and we want to scroll down to the very bottom of it. You should see right here that this version of FPS++ is for V176 and V192, that is update 1.4.0 and 1.4.1 respectively. This is the section we are interested in, this cheats section. Now, as with pretty much everything in these FPS++ graphics packs, if you have a semicolon at the start of it, it means that that specific line is disabled. All we need to do to activate these specific sections for infinite stamina, hearts and arrows is delete this semicolon, save the graphics pack, and then we can just pretty much load into game and we are good to go. Let's just do that right now after I have made these changes and we will see if I have infinite stamina, arrows and hearts. Let's just speed through shader compilation and actually get in game and see if these cheats are fully working. Okay, so we're now loaded into game. Let's go out and fight some guys and climb some stuff and shoot some arrows and see if everything is working as it is meant to be. So already, as you saw there, when I glided, it didn't take any of my stamina, so that confirms that we have infinite stamina. Firing some arrows, you can see our arrow number doesn't deplete, so we do indeed have infinite arrows, and when I charge an attack, once again, I do not use any stamina, so our stamina is completely unlimited. Let's just run out here and see can we take any damage from all of these Lysalfos armors. Lysalfos? I always say it's Lysalfos. Is it Lysalfos or Lysalfos? Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments. Lysalfos or Lysalfos? Okay, so those arrows didn't reach me. Come on. Anything? The one time I'm trying to take damage and it won't hit me? Anyone? 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 There we go. Finally, we get hit by an arrow and once again we can see that we are not taking any damage from any of these arrows, confirming that all of these cheats are completely and totally working. So if you want to disable them once again, all you have to do is go back to the exact same folder that we previously went to, the FPS++ graphics pack, the patches folder, scroll down to the very bottom and add a semicolon to the very start of each of those lines for infinite stamina, hearts and arrows and your game will be back to its stock configuration I guess and you'll be able to play as you normally would. So one of the main advantages of using this infinite stamina is exploration, I guess. So you'll be able to climb as much as you want, glide as much as you want. As you can see there, I scaled that entire cliff face and used absolutely no stamina. You could also use it if you wanted to make some cinematics with Breath of the Wild, I guess. It would be quite useful if you didn't want to be interrupted with randomly dying if you were in the cold or randomly dying if you wanted to shoot some footage without wearing the fireproof armor when you're in Goron City or something like that. So I guess there's multiple uses for this. So yeah. Anyway, guys, cheers for checking out the video. I hope you found this one somewhat interesting or useful. As always, remember to like it if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.